Match reaction to Palace's 2-1 defeat uh, away at Chelsea. Uh, Palace starting with the same 4-4-2 lineup as they uh, did against Man United. Uh, and Ben Tekken served, didn't really cause much problems through the first half uh, for that Chelsea back three. Um, harking back to the time Palace played Chelsea at home earlier this season, the, the raw pace of Zaha and Townsend caused uh, the back three of Chelsea at the time a lot of issues. Uh, but they seemed a much more adept at dealing with the kind of long ball threat um, that came with the two big men, two target men. Uh, and that allowed them to kind of push up, uh, dominate the play, uh, get the ball into midfield where the, the two midfielders overran Palace's two midfielders, probably due to the fact that Luca and Jimmy MacArthur have you know had two very arduous games before that uh, in, in Spurs and United where they've effectively run their socks off and we're going to be asked to do exactly the same again today. It meant that Chelsea controlled the majority of the possession for the first half and it gifted, you know, um, them two goals and it could have been more had it not been for the heroics of Tompkins with his goal line clearance. Second half, introduction of Zaha, more dynamic, uh, you know, a more direct threat, more pace um, and it almost paid off. Uh, Serloff hitting the post within the first couple of minutes, uh, having a goal arguably incorrectly ruled out, um, in the second half, um, but that kind of driving force from Zaha uh, was a catalyst. It got the crowd going again, uh, and the fans were, you know, very good for the 90 minutes. Uh, put the Chelsea fans to shame. The fact that they made more noise celebrating a Chelsea uh, substitute warming up in Victor Moses um, than Chelsea did for any of their goals, just as a testament to those that travel today, uh, and that support is going to be vital going forward. Uh, for the next seven games, where or seven or eight games, where every game's going to be a cup final now, the old cliche. Um, positives taken forward, yeah, two one. Other results went our way, um, although saying that we deserved a point is probably pushing it. Chelsea definitely had the better share of play. Giroud should have had probably a hat trick today, but didn't. Um, but we go in with, you know, playing three very, very tough games, you know, with limited goal difference damage. Um, Hodgson saying that Loftus-Cheek could buy uh, Sacco and Zaha should have a full week's training as well. Uh, and that will only improve our chances going forward, especially against Huddersfield, which is going to be a very important game going forward. Um Man of the match today, uh, as men I mentioned his name already, James Tompkins. Uh, not just because he's got a patchy beard like me, um, but that man epitomised the kind of you know desire uh, that we're going to need in order to drag ourselves out of the relegation zone. Even on 80 minutes, when most of the fans thought the game was gone, um, he was putting his body on the line, um, throwing his body around, you know, willing to get into scraps and fight for every last possession. Uh, and the only hope is that it can be infectious going forward throughout the team because he's the real leader on the pitch now, along with Luca, uh, and going forward into a, you know a very tough period, but a period where we're going to be playing teams we've already picked points up against this season, uh, and it's now make or break.